Yeah. Well, let's deal with one quadrant at a time. What's a good one to start with? Emotion. All right, emotion. Emotion making me crazy. <laughs> well, I want to tell. <laughs> we'll start with emotion. <laughs> yes. You have to sing the rest of it. <laughs> I can't remember the rest of it. That's over in the intellectual part. It's not so much there. So tell us, let's talk about emotion. Well, emotion is, again, when you deconstruct, I suggest that you go with your gut. Okay. So it could be positive things, negative things, things from the past, present, or future. It, mm -hmm. Some of it could be things that you want to have in the future. And it could be, um, you know, what are your basic emotions um, that you want to keep? And then what are the emotions that you want maybe to minimize or get rid of? So, You know, one thing I like about this philosophy is a lot of people don't think about this. For example, happiness. A lot of people don't consider happiness to be a discipline. They think happiness is given to me by the outside. The great western disease, I'll be happy when. When I get the money, status, BMW, condominium, I will be happy when. It's interesting, I've never worked with a medical doctor until recently. Now I work with three. Three of the smartest people I've ever met. Dr. Jim Kim, uh, president of the World Bank, uh, simultaneous MD and PhD from Harvard, um, brilliant man, wonderful man. Uh, Dr. John Noseworthy is the president of Mayo Clinic, and then Dr. Ross Shaw, head of the United States Agency for International Development at age 37. So when the brains were passed out, you know, these three boys were not lurking in the back of the line. All three of them, I ask a question, independently, on a typical day, one to ten scale, how would you rank yourself and did I do my best to be happy? All three had the same answer, independently. Never dawned on me to try to be happy. Never dawned on me to try to be happy. Now, I ask them, did it dawn on you, you're going to die? They said, yeah, they're all medical doctors. They figured out how they're going to die. I said, do you think this is a silly or trivial question? They said, no, it's an important question. I never bothered to ask myself. In my book, Triggers, this is one of my favorite lines in the book. It says, uh, even the greatest sharpshooter can miss a big target. <laughs> These people are brilliant, brilliant people, and they're kind of missing a big target every day. So I like that idea of emotion. It's, uh, you know, interesting that you talk about happiness because I hadn't thought about it like that either. And um, when people ask me, well, should we design our lives to be happy? Um, you're going to make me think about this answer differently, but I usually say designing your life is not so much about happiness, but it's about having an original life. Right. A life that feels like you, looks like you, and it's coherent with your values. Right. And, uh, well, if your value is being happy, then, you know, be it. disciplined about it. Well, let's consider the alternative. Your value is being miserable. Yes. 